away first. Your thoughts on the roughing the passer, Kyle? I'm on uh, San Francisco, man. I'm on San Francisco. Got a good San Fran team coming in here. Physical up front, great run game, great skill positions, and uh, we got a hell of a game ahead of us with San Francisco. Coach P said earlier today that he came to you in the offseason and said he wanted to do some different things with you, moved you around some. What was that conversation like from your perspective? Were you like, absolutely, or did any part of you? Yeah, absolutely, man. Definitely open to it. Um, you know, it was definitely was an adjustment, you know, learning new defense and stuff like that. But they had to learn me as well, you know, spending the year together un under the defense and um, gaining trust, you know, from they had to gain, gain my trust and same, you know, hand in hand. So uh, and they tell me you want to work on some different stuff. And I was, you know, wide open for it. And it's been fun. You know, it's definitely been a challenge, you know, learning different positions and stuff like that. But I, I definitely um, I like it. And I think it's working out for us as a whole team. And, you know, it's definitely something that I was definitely welcome. How long did it take you, you think, last year to kind of figure some of that out? going into this year with what they were trying to do with you? Um, I don't know if um, it's ever figured out. You know, you're always, you know, evolving, trying to think of things you can do better, and they're trying to find different positions that they can not only put me in, but put my other teammates in as well to make it work for everybody, you know. So I think it's an ever-evolving uh, thing and that we just learn every day, you know, and uh, just taking a how it come. You know, one week can be totally different from the week after that. So um, just, you know, taking a how it come, but it's been um, awesome, and I'm, um, I'm definitely, you know, enjoying my time in the same way. You know, I said, you know, last season when we, I was asked about, you know, believing in defense, I believe in it now just like I did last year. And, uh, and it's just been a fun defense to play in, you know. And, um, and so, I mean, I, I have no complaints. Is there anything that Dean has asked you to do when they are moving you around and you're like, wait, you're asking me to do what? Like, I, I have no idea what you're asking no, me. Like, not, no, not at all. I mean, my job is to do what's asking me, you know. When I'm a soldier, man, you tell them to go out and do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, coach needs a job done. I'm going to say, yes, sir. I'm going to do it the best of my ability. And uh, that's in the story on that one. What are some of the issues that the uh, San Francisco offense does present? Um, you know, along with the, you know, just high level of skill that they have on every level, uh, they do a good job of using different formations, shift motions, and uh, guys who've been playing together for a long time, you know, and uh, so they're very, very familiar with each other and, um, you know, they know who their playmakers are. And at the same time, they just play together well as a unit. And, uh, you know, um, they got a good quarterback that they have for a minute, you know, doing well. So, and, uh, you know, Coach Shanahan, one of the best in the biz to do what he do. So, uh, you know, definitely a heck of a challenge. You said they needed to learn learn things about you. What do you think they learned about you last year? I mean, I think that's a qu that's a question for them. You know, I just I just uh, whatever I think that they learned about me. I don't I don't even know if that's relevant to me. I just come to do my job and you know, whatever they learn from me, that's what they learn from me. I can't gauge that. You know what I'm saying? I, so I I I don't really know how to answer that. Was there some, were there things they wanted you to understand about one you know, that you wanted them to understand about you? I mean, I got a job to do. And my job is to do what the coach is asking me at a high level. And whatever that may be, you know, that's how I got to get done. You know, what they asking me, what I like to do, and, um, and uh, you know, and throw a little sauce on it here and there if I got to. But it's going to be within the defense. But, you know, it's been a fun process, man. I, and I, I, I love where I'm at, you know, where we are as a team. And, um, you know, I can't, uh, I, got my, I don't got too much to complain about. Why, why do you feel like in the fourth quarter specifically you've been able to maybe break through and get to the quarterbacks? Uh, I think more than just the fourth quarter thing. I mean, I, th I think it's just all game, you know, just um, come, come and bring a heat all game, you know, playing with great effort, you know, and, um, you know, just in the crunch time, I just think like, you know, it's just another level that you go to. But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, um, when the opportunity opportunity presents itself, just want to take advantage of it, you know, whether that's in the first quarter or fourth quarter. But, you know, finishing is something definitely that I had on my, you know, um, to-do list as far as just, you know, when I'm scouting myself and, and, and thinking about things I can do better and uh, starting fast and finishing, you know, that's always at the top of my list every week. So however that may look, however that may come, is um, I just got to be ready for the opportunity when it presents itself. You mentioned starting fast and finishing was on your to-do list. Was there anything else on the off-season list maybe technically that you worked on as well to help you get to off this good start? Uh, I just feel like um, there's always another level that you can take, you know, things to, whether it's your conditioning, the way you want to play your technique in the run game, pass game, learning, you know, learning the defense, the ins and outs of the schemes and why certain things are called. So I think just studying more, having my body ready to um, go the long way for the, for the long time, you know, playing a lot of snaps and uh, just knowing that, um, you know, as long as you keep chipping away, 
you know, your, your best is always out there. You know, you never reach, you never reach, um, you never make it. You know what I'm saying? And having that mindset has really um, helped me. It's going to continue to help me because it's always something I can get better at, be better at, um, something I can help somebody else be better at. So uh, just always trying to improve. When you were on the radio on Tuesday, you did talk a lot about wanting to see roughing the passer being reviewed. And Chris Jones kind of said the same thing on Monday night. Have you heard from other defenders around the league in the last couple of days about that? I mean, not necessarily. I mean, I think it's been talked about to where, I mean, I don't have much to say. I mean, you no, know, control the controllables at the end of the day, right? You know, I got to go out there, do a job. And my job this week, right now in this moment, is to prepare for San Francisco, you know? And um, that's what I'm focused on and um, ready to, ready to um, you know, go do and, uh, you know, help put my team in a position to try our best to get this dub. Is there any, um, anything uh, from in your film study from last year's game that, that uh, you know, is pertinent today? I know y'all are further down the road defensively, but, uh, you know, Jamie's still there, Wilson's still there. I mean, I think there's always some things you can learn, good, bad, and different from the uh, games that you played in the past. But I, for some, you know, I feel like there's always, you know, New Year, every year is a new year, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, we got to take, you know, take the lessons, but also apply things to, you know, the things we're doing this year, things that they're doing this year well, you know what I'm saying? So everybody trying to get better every year, you know, it's not always the same team. You know, they got a, a lot of new guys up front, you know, highly competitive guys up front. And um, and so I think every year is a new challenge. You know, you definitely, you, you, you look back and see some things that hurt you, but um, you also got to um, see some things that you might have done well, you know. So, but at the end of the day, you know, every year is a new year, every game a new game, you know, in, in this league, everybody got a division that where they play somebody twice. So you can't take, whether you win or lose the first game, you can't take that one and apply it to the second game. Same thing go when you play somebody year in and year out. You know, you got to give each game its own respect and due process when you're preparing for an opponent. Uh, better than like Rashawn kind of you know, next to you in that linebacker core. Is that make it kind of easier to, to slot in? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Rashawn's awesome. He knows the defense so well. Um, you know, he can ask questions in film and in meetings, and he has the answers, and all the other coaches and players do too. So it's, yeah, I mean, it gives me tremendous confidence playing next to him. What about this 49ers team? That, what, what kind of dangers do they kind of bring? I mean, they're, they're a physical run the ball first team, and so we, we know that. You know, we're going to have to bring our hard hat and, um, yeah, get after him in the run. Stop that. It's kind of been that way over the last couple of weeks. You've had, gone against Nick Chubb, Leonard Fournette, some really tough guys to bring down. Do you feel like that kind of, like, prepares you better in any way to just bring down these ball carriers? I mean, I, th I think so. I think that that's been our M.O. the whole year. You know, we want to be we want to be physical. We want to stop the run, and we have to stop the run in order to be successful. So I think playing all those all those teams prepares as well. <laughs> what's that? What's that? What are some of the intricacies of their uh, run game with Wilson that, you know, that the, uh, issues they present? I mean, they just, they use motion so well, um, kind of get your eyes distracted and I'm in the wrong place and, and that can be challenging. So you have to be locked in and dialed with your with your eye discipline and your run fits um, every play in order to be successful. Uh, and Coach, uh, Dean said he, he likes that, you know, if you do make mistakes, it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're going, I guess if you're going to make one, you better be doing it at a high level and hopefully you'll be right. Uh, and given that four, I mean, oh yeah, I'm going to track five games and you have to go the whole way and be ready for it now. I, I think so. I, that's why. That's why you prepare. That's why you practice. You practice hard, and um, every single day, like it is a game. Um, so then, when you're in the game, it's it's kind of natural. Yeah, they're a really good front. They they've been proving that all year. So it, it's definitely gonna be a challenge. We're good against the pass and the run. Um, so we gotta be on top of our game. But you know, I think we're stacking some good days together and uh, feeling confident with what we're putting together for a game plan. Dave Vergone used the word violent to describe kind of their defense, especially up front. Um, I assume you guys kind of relish that kind of challenge. Yeah, I mean that, that's part of being a you know professional athlete in the NFL is one you want to have a desire to play against the best players every week because that, that's what you're going to get. And, and two, I mean they they've proven that they they've earned that this year with the way they played and the numbers they put up. So um, it's a big challenge, but you know we're excited. We've been working all week and talking about. Um, things we need to emphasize, so you know, I feel like we're heading in the right direction.
be the six for you guys. How have you seen the offense growing each week? Not only just the line, but the whole offense in general. Uh, I, you know, I, there's still a lot we can improve. I'll, I'll start with that, but um, we are getting better. I think our emphasis on running the ball has been good. Um, we just got to continue to execute. Um, especially early in the game, thinking back to last week. And um, we're going to be a good spot if we do that. But, you know, like I said, it's going to be a good challenge this week. Yeah, I think you were one of the ones who, who said that, you know, with the roughing the passer call, you know, there was obviously that controversy, but you could have done things better early in the game. Maybe it wouldn't, wouldn't have come down to that. Um, you know, what are the things you can do in the beginnings of games? Is that something specifically, or does it just happen to be that's when execution is going to fail? Yeah, I think just in general executing. Um, if we're all 11 of us are on the same page, we, we've proven that we can move the ball and put up points. But, um, you know, it, it, it's hard to move the ball in the NFL, especially against a good defense. And um, one or two guys are off, and, you know, nothing's going to work. But, um, you know, I think we put a big emphasis on that this week, and we've strung together a couple really good days of practice. And, um, you know, that's the beauty of the NFL. There's another game this week, so we'll be ready to roll.